The first three videos in this series here on how to create more power on your serve are going to focus on the racket head speed side of the equation. How to drive your racket through the ball with more momentum and therefore impart more momentum on the ball which will give you more power. The ball will move through the court more quickly and more powerfully. So the first thing we're going to focus on is good use of your body, ro rotation wise specifically. We're going to talk, touch on other elements as well. But the first thing we're going to talk about is the rotation back of your body. And this has got to be, and this is why it's first, okay? Because in my experience, it's the, the number one thing that amateur tennis players do not do, which leads to weak serves. Now, if you watch professional players, as they go back into their, what's typically referred to as the trophy pose, you will see the front of their chest facing back towards the back wall right around there, not always directly back. In fact, you'll see some variants here. Uh, Nadal, for example, doesn't quite get back uh, turned that far. But when you look at the biggest servers, when you look at, you know, Sampras, uh, Isner, uh, more a modern day uh, player, you'll see their chest turn back. And part of that is their hips, and part of that is their upper body, their torso, rotating back as well. Now, compare that to a, an, if you go to your local park or your local club and you watch recreational players, amateur players play, you'll frequent, frequently see players that don't even turn sideways to hit their serve. They will actually remain facing forwards, and you've, you've all seen this serve, line the racket up with the box and just hit the ball over with just the racket facing forwards and their body facing forwards the whole time. That completely cuts out the biggest, strongest, most powerful part of your body which is your core. So we need to use this actively. We need to load it by turning back in our trophy pose and then use that stored energy to rotate forwards again towards our target and allow that momentum, that power to be transferred through the racket and into the ball. Now, if you are an amateur tennis player, which I'm assuming <laughs> you probably are if you're watching uh, this video, what you should not be trying to do is copy the pros directly here, which has been my um, contention for a long time. It was certain things you should be trying to copy the pros. This is not one of those things. Um, this, this is a big rotation to, to face uh, the back uh, wall, to face the back curtain. Most players are lucky to get to perpendicular to the baseline. They're just getting sideways, which is better than nothing. I mean, much better that than facing forwards. What you should be shooting for is turning about 45 degrees back. So if this is perpendicular with my chest facing to my right, and this is uh, a full 90 degree turn facing towards the back, you're looking for about 45 degrees or so facing towards the back uh, corner. So the way I recommend that you practice this is without a ball to start, um, Take your racket, go back to your trophy pose, and practice just going to that position with your chest facing towards the back corner, about 45 degrees or so to the baseline. Well, if you measure this way and that way, uh, 45 degrees, okay? And just build some awareness here. This is not something that, you, that most players will immediately be able to just incorporate right away into their serve. Give it a bunch of repetitions. If you have a smartphone or you have a tablet and you can record yourself on video practicing this, do that and set up the, the camera, the smartphone or tablet, right in line with that 45 degree angle mark. And after you've practiced several times and you've reviewed yourself on video, get to that correct uh, rotation back, then you can start to incorporate a ball into the motion. Again, review on video, if possible, and then eventually incorporate it into your actual serve as well, getting back to about 45 uh, degrees. And if this is something that you haven't done a good job of up until now, you'll notice an immediate improvement in power across all of your serves. Once you start to actually make a full turn back and a full rotation forwards, it's just, if you're not doing a good job of this, you're just leaving a lot of potential on the table. And so this is a quick improvement that is relatively easy uh, based on, you know, the rest of the service motion is, can be very complicated. 
This is a very simple thing that you can incorporate pretty simply and gives you a good boost in power right away.